Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering subject. So, this is lecture number 56. We continue with the fluid mechanics. So, earlier lecture, we solved the problem in the fluid mechanics. We continue with the fluid mechanics. The subject this topic for this lecture is laminar flow part 1. We take few questions from the gate examination, various gate examination and we solve the questions. First question from 1994 question paper, for fully developed laminar flow through a pipeline, the ratio of maximum velocity to the average velocity is dash. For fully developed laminar flow, the ratio of maximum velocity to the average velocity. Maximum velocity by average velocity, maximum velocity is given by minus 4, 1 by 4 mu into dou p by dou x into r square. Mean velocity is given as minus 1 by 8 mu into dou p by dou x into r square. So, simplifying u max by u equal to 2. The answer is 2. Next question from 1995 question paper. In a fully developed laminar flow in a circular pipe, the head loss due to friction is directly proportional to dash. So, mean velocity or square of mean velocity, which is the correct option among the two options. The answer, HF equal to head loss due to friction in a pipeline, laminar flow, P1 minus P2 by rho g. So, this equal to 32 mu u bar L divided by rho g d square. So, you take everything is constant excepting mu, so u bar, so it is proportional to u bar, so it is proportional to the mean velocity. Next question from 2007 question paper, consider steady laminar incompressible axis symmetric fully developed viscous flow through a state circular pipe of constant cross sectional area at a Reynolds number of 5. The ratio of inertia of force to the viscous force of the fluid particle is, we have 5 options. So, you just listen to the options, 5, 1 by 5, 0 and infinity. So, Reynolds number is 5. The, the answer given, Reynolds number is 5. And what is the ratio of inertia of force to the viscous force? So, if you remember the definition of a Reynolds number, Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia of force to the viscous force. So, the answer is 5. So, phi is the answer because Reynolds number is given as phi and they are asking inertia of force by viscous force. Inertia of force plus viscous force is the Reynolds number which is phi. The next question from gate 2009 question paper. The velocity profile of a fully developed laminar flow in a state circular pipe is shown here in the diagram and the expression for the velocity profile u r equal to minus r square by 4 mu dou p by dou x into 1 minus small r square by capital R square. So, r square, capital R square is the outside radius of the pipeline and small r square is the any radius from the center of the pipe. So, dou p by dou x is the pressure gradient and mu is the absolute viscosity of the fluid, where dp by dx is the constant. The average velocity of the fluid in the pipeline. So, for this is the velocity profile, we have to calculate the average velocity. There are four options given. So, among the four options, option A is the correct answer. So, minus r square by 8 mu into dp by dx is the correct answer for average velocity of the fluid. So, we will see how in the next slide. Average velocity is obtained by dividing the discharge by the cross sectional area of the flow passage. So, u bar equal to q divided by area. So, q equal to pi minus pi by 8 mu dou p by dou x into r square and the cross sectional area equal to pi r square. So, simplifying u bar equal to minus 1 by 8 mu dou p by dou x into r square. That is the answer to the question. Next question from gate 2010 question paper. The maximum velocity of one dimensional incompressible fully developed viscous flow between two fixed parallel plates is 6 meters per second. The mean velocity of the flow is, uh, we have four options here again. 2 meters per second, 3 meters per second, 4 meters per second, 5 meters per second. And for 
flow between parallel plates u max by u bar maximum velocity by mean velocity is given by 1.5. So, if you look at the book for derivation you may find u max by u bar equal to 1.5. So, the mean velocity u bar equal to u max by 1.5 60 by 1.5 equal to 4 meters per second. So, the answer is option C 4 meters per second. Next slide, next question from 2015 question paper. Consider fully developed flow in a circular pipe with negligible entrance length effect. Assuming the mass flow rate, density and friction factor to be constant, the length of the pipe is doubled and the diameter is halved. So, the diameter d2 equal to half of the diameter at inlet, the head loss due to friction will be increased by the factor of, we have 4 options here, 4, 16, 32 and 64. The correct action is, answer is 64, option D, we will see how in the next slide. So, what is the problem? So, the mass density friction factor is constant, length is double, diameter is reduced by 50 percent. So, the L2 equal to 2 times of L1 and D2 equal to diameter D1 divided by 2. So, head loss due to friction HF equal to 4 FL V square by 2 GD. So, V square V equal to Q by A. So, 4 FL by 2 GD Q by A whole square. So, this area equal to pi by 4 D square. So, area cross is equal to pi by 4 d square. So, simplifying 4 f l q square divided by 2 g d to the power 5 into pi by 4 whole square. Now, h of 1 by h of 2. There are two pipes. One pipe with the h of 1, another pipe is h of 2. The parameter varying are length and the diameter, all the other parameters are constant. Length in the numerator, d to the power 5 in the denominator. So, L1 by L2 into D2 by D1 to the power 5. That is the equation. Now, you substitute for L2 equal to 2 times of L1 and D2 equal to D1 to the power 1 by 2. So, D1 to the power 1 by 2 and this becomes, first part becomes 1 by 2, second part is 1 by 2 to the power 5. So, the answer is 1 by 64. So, H of 1 equal to 64 times of H of 2. That is the answer to the question. Next question from 2015 question paper, three parallel pipes connected at one end have flow rate of Q1, Q2, Q3 respectively and the corresponding frictional head loss are HL1, HL2 and HL3 respectively. The correct expression for the flow rate Q and frictional head loss across the two ends HL are Q equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So, Q equal to again option B and uh, Q, all the Q, Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Option C, Q equal to Q1 equal to Q2 equal to Q3. So, the total discharge equal to sum of the discharges in the pipes. And uh, here, total discharge is equal to the Q1 equal to Q2 equal to Q3. That is the one part. Second part, HL. HL equal to head loss due to friction equal to sum of the losses. HL1 plus HL2 plus HL3 in the first expression. Second expression, HL equal to HL1 minus equal to HL2 equal to HL3. And uh, this is, these are all the options given. The correct option is option B. So, the discharge is equal to, total discharge is equal to sum of the discharges and the frictional losses are independently equal. All the frictional losses are equal. HL equal to HL1 plus HL2, uh, HL1 minus equal to HL2 equal to HL3. So, we will see how. The flow rate in the main pipe is equal to the sum of the flow rate through the branch pipe. Uh, that is a theory. Uh, we, the, we have a branches, branched pipe, three pipes are branching out from the main pipeline. The sum of the uh, uh, flow rate in the branch pipe is equal to total uh, discharge. When the pipes are arranged in parallel, the loss of head due to in each pipe is the same. So, H L 1 equal to H L 2 equal to H L 3. That is the correct answer. So, discharge Q equal to Q 1 plus Q 2 plus Q 3 and the head loss due to friction equal to H L 1 equal to H L 2 equal to H L 3. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2015 question paper. The county flow is characterized by steady incompressible laminar flow through a state pipeline, state circular pipe fully developed turbulent flow through a straight circular pipe, steady incompressible laminar flow between two fixed parallel plates, 
steady incompressible laminar flow between one fixed plate and other moving plate at constant velocity. So, this is the diagrammatic representation of the cow T flow. So, we have one, pi, one plate is stationary plate, another plate is moving plate with velocity u. So, it is laminar flow, cow T flow is a laminar flow, it is for incompressible fluid and it is steady flow and where one plate is constant, another plate is moving. So, the correct option is option D, steady incompressible laminar flow between one fixed plate and other moving with a velocity, constant velocity that is the cow T flow. Next question from 2017 question paper, for steady flow of viscous incompressible fluid through a circular pipe of constant diameter. The average velocity in the fully developed region is constant. Which one of the following statement about average velocity in the developing region is true? There are four options given here. It increases until the flow is fully developed. It is constant and equal to the average velocity in the fully developed region. It decreases until the flow is fully developed. It is constant but always lower than the average velocity of in the fully developed region. The option is it is constant and is equal to the average velocity of velocity in the fully developed region. That is the correct option. We stop here. So, these are all the uh, books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and uh, I have a YouTube video channel where I upload the video lectures of all the subjects. You can refer to the video lectures for understanding the basic theory. You may find the video lectures on the fluid mechanics also. You can refer to the video lectures for understanding the basic theory. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture. Until then, bye.